Well, there's a renewed effort to jazz up an old water tower in the town that claims to be the birthplace of the first hamburger. Of course, we're talking about the town of Hamburg and the water tower, which sits just north of the Erie County Fair. It's easy to spot if you're traveling along the thruway. And as we hear from Channel 2's Dave McKinley, some believe this could be a rare opportunity <laughs> to get something well done. It's not like there's anything wrong with this for what it is. It's what it could be that has sparked the interest of many to paint the Hamburg water tower into a hamburger. The woman leading the effort is Chris Lully. That's her and her trademark hamburger hat at the recent Hamburg Burger Fest. She's got an online petition that's already gotten many signatures in support of the effort. Though unique to our region, this would not be without precedent, as a quick internet search shows hundreds of communities showing off their civic pride through water towers like Tipton, Missouri, once home to one of the nation's largest pool table manufacturers, has theirs done up like an eight ball. You don't need to guess hard to guess what they used to make a lot of near Lexington, Kentucky, or that they grow a lot of peaches in Clanton, Alabama. And the fishing is so good in one Minnesota town that they have theirs decked out as a giant bobber. Nor is the idea of painting this tower, like a hamburger, a new one. They tried that once before and they didn't get through with it because they uh, didn't want to pay for it, I guess. Craig Evans remembers that effort in 1994, having lived 45 of his 72 years in the shadow of the tower. What would you think about having a giant hamburger up there? I'd rather have him fix the sewers. <laughs> At the same time, though, the thing already looks like a hamburger, so you wouldn't have to add anything. Well, not much, anyway. I just wonder if they put sesame seeds on top of that thing. There you go. That's an idea. Hot peppers. <laughs> Hamburg Supervisor Steve Walters was unavailable for comment, but his secretary confirms his office has fielded plenty of calls on this. Supporters realizing that taxpayers may not want to spring for an elaborate paint job on the old girl here hope that they could reach out to the community to voluntarily fund an effort after those petitions are presented to the Hamburg Gur Town Board. In <laughs> Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.